everyone welcome back today's video is going to be on my top five newborn products and my top five postpartum products that i think that you should consider buying if you're new here hey and thanks for stopping by i hope that you find this video useful so before i get started just know that i will include a picture here and i will also include every item that i um talk about in the description i will link them in the description below so let's get right into it the first item on my list is going to be the perineal bottle. Now, you guys already know you use this whenever you give birth in the hospital. They let you use that to clean the perineal area. Well, you should, you should continue to use this item when you're at home because the pain doesn't go away. You're still healing and it still makes for a smoother recovery process. Number two on my list is going to be the three-in-one postpartum belly wrap this has been that so there are like so many wraps that you can buy out there there's one that i found on amazon and it's a three-in-one so you have different stages of belts that you use that give more support where you need it when you need it the third thing on my postpartum list is going to be prenatals just continue taking your prenatals i would say to take your prenatals um, at least three months after you have the baby to continue giving yourself those nutrients that you need. Number four on my postpartum list is a large water bottle. Oh, I messed up, I don't have mine up here with me, but I have like the really large um, water bottle. I fill my water bottle up with a gallon of water each day and that stays on the side of my bed. When you are breastfeeding, you stay so thirsty, especially like while baby is latched on or while you're pumping. I don't know what it is, but you get really thirsty. But even if you are not breastfeeding, it is you really need to keep yourself hydrated, especially running after a baby all day. We don't get in everything that we need to get in as far as water and food. So if you just have a water bottle here, sitting here, ready to go, you're more likely to get the water that you need. And last but not least on my postpartum list is high-waisted underwear. Um, now I had a C-section, so it was important for me to have underwear that were comfortable for me um, something that rose well above my c-section scar and I've had two vaginal births as well and high-waisted underwear for me personally was just the most comfortable um, you in those in those weeks following giving birth like everything just starts to feel a little jiggly a little loose and just kind of like I don't I don't know what the right <laughs> word to describe it is, but high-waisted underwear will pull everything in just like high-waisted uh, tights or shorts or jeans or whatever it is. It really just pulls in and gives you more support in that midsection area. So first up on my newborn list is a sound slash light machine. Y'all. This is my sound machine, our little hippo friend. Our little hippo friend actually begins to play sounds when baby starts crying. Like I tested this out and I do not touch Serenity when she starts to cry in the middle of the night. This baby turns on and starts to read to her or sing to her, whatever I put the settings on and it soothes her right back to sleep. This is a life saver. The light on the machine is really important because you don't want to turn on bright lights in the middle of the night when you have to get up and either feed your baby or change your baby, whatever the case may be. Turning on bright lights is going to wake your baby up fully. So to keep the lights dim, I use the sound machine that has the lights on it and the lights help me to navigate through the dark whenever she wakes up in the middle of the night. Next on my list is swaddle. You need a swaddle. Now, some babies do not like the swaddles, like my little nephew who was just born about a month ago. He did not like the swaddle from jump, but most baby, I say 90% of babies, love to be swaddled. It gives them that feeling that they had whenever they were inside the womb. Just everything's just very tight and together and it stops them from having the startle reflex, which is what wakes babies up most of the time. If you ever watched your baby while they're sleeping, yes, I'm gonna demonstrate. 
they'll kind of sleep like this and then you'll notice they'll do one of these numbers that's a startle reflex and that is what wakes your baby up but when they are swaddled everything is in tight they're either here or here yes i'm still demonstrating <laughs> they're like a little burrito and they're not able to um and they're able to relax and that is why the swaddle is so important next on my list are onesies that zip the struggle of trying to button up a onesie when you and baby are both so sleepy in the middle of the night is real. Um, so I would just go with the onesies that zip and now they even have the onesies that zip from the top down, which I think is so smart so that baby's neck doesn't get pinched and it's just, it's just better for baby. So I love that they have upgraded those. Number four, number four on my list is, I call it the diaper caddy. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if that's the official name. It'll be linked below. But the diaper caddy is a lifesaver, especially if you have two levels to your home. This is the diaper caddy. It has three different sections inside. One big one, two smaller ones. And I use this at night. I use it throughout the day. So... In the bigger section, I put her wipes and I put her diapers that she will use for the next few hours. Um, I, I cloth diapers, so I can't fit all of her diapers for the day, but at least half the day, I can fit her diapers into this section here. And on this side, I keep my breastfeeding stuff in one, in one end, and on the others, I keep her pacifiers, her gas medicine for the day, um, just miscellaneous stuff, her comb, her brush, um, maybe some oils if I'm going to oil her up downstairs, things like that. So I, I pack this up in the morning and we head downstairs for the day. And then I also pack it again before we go to bed so that I have everything right here on my nightstand with everything in it. I don't have to get out of bed for anything. The next thing on my list, which is the last thing on my list, is a newborn tracker app. This is going to help you to keep track of baby's diapers, um, baby's sleep, how often baby nurses, and this will be something that you can use when you go to your doctor's appointments. For me, it came in handy um, because I was tracking all of her stuff and then all of a sudden she started um, having issues with acid reflux and that changed up. A lot of things her sleep her diapers everything started to change and I was able to give all of that information to the doctor so that we could figure out exactly what was going on and pinpoint the so issue so that is it for my top five items postpartum and newborn guys there are a few other things that were pretty high up on my list they didn't make my top five but I will link everything that I suggest in um, the description box if you have anything that you want to add or that you have questions about um, go ahead and put that in the comment box and also let me know what your favorite newborn and postpartum item is if you are new here again thank you for taking the time to watch my video I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you will subscribe hit the no bell notification button so that you know every time I drop new content. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I hope that you were able also to find this very, very helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video, guys. Bye.